atrophy. It's what happens when you don't use your muscles over a set period of time and they basically decrease in size in order to make your body more efficient. Our bodies as animals have evolved over millions of years in order to save energy. Anything that they can do to cut out energy use, it's gonna do. So if you're not actively using those muscles, your body's gonna get rid of them so you don't need to consume day to day as much energy to survive. So for me, I haven't trained with weights since one week before Australian Nationals, which was in, I believe it was like the first week of November. So it's been about four months. And so I'm curious now to do a measurement to see where my measurements are at and see if there, how much of a difference there is. Because I've, I've noticed in some of my shirt sizes, as you'll see soon, there's been a bit of a difference. So first we'll do my wrist. It's not really a lot of musculature over the wrist. So I am right at 17.5 centimeters and forearm forearm without tensing I'm at about 30.5 30.5 centimeters and with tensing Let's make sure it's around the thickest part. With tensing, I'm about 36, 36 centimeters. Bicep. Bicep, no tensing, I'm about 34. And then with tensing, with tensing, I'm about 39. I'll put up on screen now what my previous measurements were, but you can see um, my wrist and my forearm, pretty much the same size. I'm actually surprised about my forearm. I would have thought that would have gone down a little bit, but wrist kind of makes sense. There's not really a lot of um, soft tissue there for with which to grow. Um, but yeah, the main difference is definitely my upper arm. The rest are kind of all, you know, like within a rounding era or whatever, but. I've definitely taken off heaps from my biceps and I've got a couple of videos to demonstrate this. So when I was in uh, my big training in the lead up to nationals, um, some of my shirts weren't really fitting anymore. And I'll show a comparison of back then versus how I am now. You know you're an arm wrestler when you can no longer fit your shirt because of your arms. I can't get my shirts off. My arms are too big. So this is that same shirt from before. You can see there's a bunch of space in there. I can even fit like four fingers in there. Just like in your mom. Um, so, you know, how has my training changed for this to occur? So last year I went really hard. I, I pushed after East vs West qualifiers, I did three hours a day every day pretty much all the way until nationals to really give it a, my best go I possibly could. So I've gone from three hours a day every day down to table time once a week. Sometimes I'd miss a week and do every second week. So big difference in terms of training volume. So it's been interesting kind of running this experiment. I needed a little bit of time off um, after that big push. Um, just to kind of mentally recover and I also had some injuries. My left is still not the same, so I'm not sure where I'm going to be at competition-wise on left this year. Um, but the focus is getting it healthy again. I've got some nerve damage in through here. Uh, I've gone and seen a kind of physio, and he thinks it's an uh, ulnar nerve impingement. Um, so also, sorry, I haven't done any videos, guys. I've been super hectic. Uh, I've just moved up to Brisbane in December, and so there's been a bunch of stuff I've needed to do um, just around the house and generally like um, getting everything sorted here. So hopefully video is going to pick up a bit more. What's going to be interesting now is to start back training and then see how long it takes me to get back. 
Now, with those, with those measurements in the lead up to nationals, I was weighing more like 85 or 86. Currently, I'm the lightest I've been in four years since I pretty much started the sport. I started the sport at about 77, 78, and I quickly bulked up to, to 82. And 83 was kind of where I was until last year where I just decided to try and go a little bit heavier, 85, 86. So now I'm back down to right at 81. So this is the lightest I've been in four years for sure. Um, so yeah, I'll start training again. I'll ease back in. I've, I've just started kind of doing maybe like three weight sessions a week, pretty, pretty chill sessions. Um, and I'll slowly um, get back more and more serious as I have more time. Um, and as competition starts to loom, I'll look at um, getting prepared for those competitions. But mostly for me this year, I think I'm gonna be focused on getting my left healthy and maybe maybe I'm focusing a bit more on right arm this year. That's gonna be interesting because last year it was the complete opposite. It was like my right was, well, in all these previous years, my right's been the one that's injured. Now it's all healthy. It's even, the only thing that's kind of not so healthy still is my elbow. Both arms, my elbows are not very great. Um, so I need to figure out what I, what I can do there in terms of uh, rehab. I've tried a few different things. Um, I might have just pushed it a little bit too hard last year, but even before last year I was having issues. So yeah, I'll see what I can do. But yeah, tell me about your guys' experience with atrophy. I'm keen to hear how long does it take you to put on muscle? Like, especially if you're regaining muscle you've had previously, maybe it doesn't take quite as long. Um, and also how long does it take to, to cut? off your muscle how, how long does it take for you to lose it like i've heard studies where it can it can start to go after like two three weeks um that's definitely my experience i um yeah probably three weeks i started getting it to come off a little bit and then over the next two months after that really big drop off but to be fair i had dropped weight as well um in order to hold my body composition somewhat similar um yeah so let me know what you guys think um and never stop learning arm wrestling. Like and subscribe to learn arm wrestling together.